Moving on now, an award-winning Syrian photographer who was wounded in the recent protests in Paris said that the night brought back the memories of civil war in his country. 24-year-old Amir Halbi was seen with a bruised face which was covered in bandages. His face was almost unrecognizable. Amir Al-Halbi said that the police assaulted him and his colleagues despite knowing that they were journalists. He said, and I'm quoting here, I found myself wounded, bleeding heavily in my face and stuck for two hours in the demonstration, wedged between demonstrators and the police who did not want to let us get out and go to a hospital. Images of Syria surged back into my head. I was aged 15 when I found myself blocked in a demonstration, wounded by two bullets in my hand. Meanwhile, the photographer's employer, AFP News Agency, condemned police action and demanded a probe into the incident. Let's shift our focus to Thailand. Our anti-government protests continue to take place across Thailand. In the latest act of defiance, thousands of protesters marched to an army barrack to challenge the Thai king's personal control over some army units. The demonstrators continue to break taboos, uh, taboos by criticizing the king in the country where insulting the monarchy is a crime. Protesters, many carrying the large inflatable ducks, which have become a protest mascot, stopped at the gates of the 11th Infantry Regiment, part of the King's Guard that played a role in the suppression of anti-establishment protests in 2010. Lines of riot police blocked protesters at the gate. Protesters accused the monarchy of enabling decades of military domination. Demonstrators have been demanding the resignation of Thailand's pro-monarchy Prime Minister Prayut chan -Ucha. หน้าที่ในการดูแลกระบวนการทางคนถวายความปลอดภัยอะไรก็ตามเนี่ยมันหน้าที่ของรัฐบาลที่ประชาชนต้องเป็นคนเลือกนะครับผมดังนั้นการ